this video is for advanced users and it explains um, what gets submitted uh, when you have a dialogue component with uh, repeating sections uh, in particular when you add and remove rows from the repeating section so you can see here we have a uh, dialogue that has a repeating section and the repeating section has uh, three rows of data and I've put um, a debug one statement in the dialog validate event so we can see what goes on so let's start out now by just typing in say 13 into the product ID field and then hitting uh, submit so when we look in the debugger now we can see that uh, inside the e.data submitted product ID there's an array of data and it's got one two three and there's the value 13 that we just entered in position number three uh, in the array so um, uh, position number three in the array there is uh, corresponding to this third row in the repeating section but um, in this particular case it's just coincidence that this data from the third row the third visible row in the repeating section is in the third entry in the array because what I'm going to do now is um, start over again and uh, this time I'm going to um, go to my repeating section and then I'm going to go here and delete that row, delete that row, delete that row and now go and add in a new row and type in 13 and then hit the submit button and now I'm going to see what happens. Now you can see that we have a completely different situation here the array that got sent back has now got six entries in it and this 13 which is in the third logical row in this repeating section is actually in array position number six so behind the scenes what's happening here is that when you delete rows from a repeating section they're not really deleted they're just actually hidden and then when you add new rows um, new rows actually are are entered so uh, inside the DOM uh, of this uh, 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 the, br the dialog component in the browser even though there are only three rows shown right now internally there are six rows um, and rows one and two are visible three four and five have been hidden and then row six is now visible again showing my three logical rows over here so there are there are there is the data that corresponds to those um, six rows in the dialog and then inside the E object there is a property um, there's an object called the repeating section info and that's an array where you've got one entry in the array for each repeating section so in this case my dialog only has uh, one repeating section and uh, so uh, we're looking now at uh, the first entry in this array and uh, what's interesting about this information here is it's telling me uh, what the logical row to physical row map is so there are three logical rows that were submitted uh, row one two and three here but row one maps to the physical row one row two maps to physical row two and row three maps to physical row six so that tells me here that that logical row three in order to find the data in logical row three I would actually go to the array entry number six so then I also have uh, this property called deleted rows which tells me which rows were deleted so three four and five have been deleted this uh, total row count tells me the total number of physical rows uh, that were submitted and that is six and then row count is the logical row count this is the number of logical rows that were submitted so uh, this information uh, hopefully is is useful to uh, developers who are writing their own XBasic validation routines or their own um, after validate routines and it explains basically how to interpret the submitted data especially the the data in the these arrays that are computed um, on the server uh, from the uh, from the submitted data. I uh, hope you found that interesting. Thanks very much.